now I saw this video and I couldn't stop laughing. Take a look at this. In the realm of love and life, I'm Chica here to guide, sharing wisdom, truth, and pride. With open heart and mind, on real talk with Chica. I'll keep it real and true. Navigating relationships, okay, helping. Before I proceed, if you have seen that video that I just played, if you have seen a place like that in real life before, you should let me know. Now, the first question that came into my mind was, what if you are locking someone is, that is already married? Or, you are locking someone who has already locked someone. Let's say, for example, I went there to lock a man I fell in love with. Whereas, the man has already gone to lock someone else whom he is in love with. Or... I went to lock a man I love. Another lady that loves the man went also to lock, to lock the man. What will not happen? Another question. What if the man is married? Or leave marriage. What if the man is prayerful? Because see, I've not seen this thing before. But the reason why I believe it is because the Bible even recognized principalities and powers. The Bible speaking, it says, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. So I believe powers, there are powers, apart from God's powers they but power, when power jump power, ah, the lesser one must bow. So let's see this man that you went there to go and lock is a prayerful man. And you finish locking the key, and you not throw it, you throw it into the sea, or the ocean, or the river, whichever one it is. And it did not work. Then Papi Watana grabbed the key. She it will not end the spiritual husband. There's also somebody that have spiritual husband, but you're the one that gave them the keys to your hearts. I don't even understand it. Ay, Jesus Christ. Like, don't tell me these keys are in millions, and this is not even the first time I'm seeing this. This particular one is in South Africa. South Africans that are watching this video, let me know what's up. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I, I don't believe in anything, anything fetish, anything that is not good. I don't have any alternative. But if I can see wives or husbands coming up together to say, let us go and lock this thing so that nobody will penetrate our marriage. It's a different thing, no? Man, no marry you, no propose to you. Because you love him, because you want him to yourself, you want to go and lock him. What if he does not want you as much as you want him? I tire for this video. South Africans watching these things, and I saw another one. That one was in Canada. And please, if you know more about this, enlighten your girl. I'm interested. I want to know more about this. Gosh.